In my last video, I made Fred, a folding hexagonal kinematic chain robot that performed full body rolling to get around. At the end of that video, I pointed out Fred's biggest limitation, its inability to turn, and I got a lot of good suggestions in the comments that I like to explore in future videos. But for this video, I'd like to show a solution I came up with that allows Fred to turn without adding any more motors or significantly changing the design. In fact, my first proposed solution is as simple as redesigning and replacing the treads. I've specially designed these treads to move the robot in response to it vibrating. This works because of the tilt and elasticity of these bristle sections, which will be printed out of TPU. When the robot vibrates, it's shifting its mass up and down very quickly. When the weight is pushing down, these bristles flex up and back, pushing the robot forward slightly. Then when the weight is shifting back up, the friction between the bristles and the ground is significantly reduced and they can spring back to their original shape. Over time, this results in directional motion. And since I've designed the bristles to point the opposite direction on the other side of the robot, this can result in turning. Normally, this would only allow a robot to turn in one direction, but since Fred can tip from one panel to the next while rolling, I can design it such that alternating panels turn opposite directions. The code is the same as that of original Fred, with the addition of the vibrational turning logic. When a turn is commanded, the robot can first shift onto the appropriate panel, depending on the direction, and then begin vibrating to start turning. While this is one of the simplest forms of turning I could think of in terms of adding actuators and degrees of freedom, it's also probably one of the least effective. The turning motion tends to be slow and somewhat sporadic since it's relying on tiny incremental shifts from the bristles flexing to move. This also only really works on a hard flat surface, as any unevenness or given the surface would prevent the bristles from pushing and springing back properly. With all that being said, I still think this is an interesting way to add control to Fred without adding significant complexity. Please leave any other ideas for ways of implementing turning down in the comments. I'm already working on a few more versions of Fred, including one of the suggestions from the comments in the last video, and one I haven't seen proposed yet. 